Hey. Good morning. Good morning. Happy Sunday night on a Monday morning. We're on the wrong side. This is weird. That's why you, you get to push the button. Isn't that it's fun? like sleeping on the wrong side of the bed. Well, and we're laughing because, as you can see, we have a tree behind us. We're, we're in our living room, but we're kind of looking out the window. And the horse is kind of running around crazy. <laughs> it's really super windy here, so hopefully we have a decent connection. Um, but we actually saw the first snow this morning. Yeah, you can see it right, right there. Is it some... actually snowing? Oh, yeah, those yeah. are flakes going by. Yay, snow! Merry Christmas! Yeah, I get to go run out in it and do the um, the new way of shopping where you just like basically um, order ahead and pick up. So I'll just be popping my trunk. It's like fast food of shopping. <laughs> kind of. I mean, yeah. You make you place your order and drive around. And... I was just having deep thoughts about fast food just a little bit ago. I'll have to. Okay. Wow. <laughs> I'll have to share those. Bored much? So. <laughs> No, so anyway. If, so, so if you have deep thoughts about fast food, please comment below. <laughs> anyway, okay. just how our relationship with fast food has changed. So, anyway. But, you know what this reminds me of right here? This is our quick tip. Or our What's our quick tip? tip? Our schedules. Okay. With all the cuckoo bananas that's happening this year, it's important to keep traditions going. Right. So, and one of our traditions is to look up all those fun specials we used to watch as kids. Yeah, Charlie like, Brown and the Grinch. Rudolph. Okay, there was a cat attacking the tree, so if it falls down, um, yeah, Rudolph and you know Santa Claus is coming to town. Those old claymation deals, yeah. those are the best, but they can be hard to find. And we're kind of, well, we've never had cable, um, dish, any of that, and so we've always relied on. Um, I'm about to be attacked. We're, we've always relied on when they put it on over the air, but that can be a little difficult to find. You know, you don't get the TV Guide in the Sunday paper anymore. Well, maybe if we got the Sunday paper, maybe we'd get the TV Guide. But anyway, I have a website that lists all the specials, even the ones on cable, which we don't watch. But um, anyway, it's great because it highlights at the top the ones that are going to be on network television. Um, so every day we can look and see, and that's a highlight. And even the obnoxious commercials are kind of part of the tradition because yeah. it's, it reminds us of how we watch TV when we were a kid. Because remember, you used to watch the shows and then you'd go to school and everyone would be talking about yep. it the next day. See, that is something that's been lost because we have access to everything all the time. So this is one way we kind of like to do it old school. Yeah. So I'll put that. Keep link a fun tradition. In the description. Well, not I'll put it somewhere. You can find it. Anyway. <laughs> all right. Well, real quick, before I run up all about town and start errands, and that's Ren driving her Barbie bus off into the distance. Um, yeah. Fun video. Give us an update on the Florida property. Okay. So we had our um, offer expired last Wednesday. And they had three offers come in. Uh, we were one of three, so they asked for the highest and best by 9 o'clock this morning. So that's what we were doing this morning, last yep. night this morning. So we've got our revised offer in, and we'll... We'll see. We'll find out by tomorrow. It's one of those things. Yeah. It's, it's going to be it's gonna be a thing we'll either way. Yeah. So we'll see. Maybe this, this is the one that will go. Could be fun. Yeah. Could be fun. Will be Could fun. Be. Well, yeah, regardless, it'll be it, fun. Because if we're, it's we're not learning. this one, it'll be another one. Yeah. So... So that's exciting. And when the weather's like this, we're like, oh, yes, property in Florida would be lovely. So anyway, and we got our tree over the weekend, had a fantastic Thanksgiving, like very normal. We don't normally travel on Thanksgiving. We don't normally have um, anyone but Grandma Nan here. Copious amounts of people do not come over. Yeah, except our children, Yeah, our copious amounts of children. So... It's still a crowd, it's still a party, oh, yeah. but it didn't, I know for so many people, it felt weird and different, and it was blissfully normal for us. And one of our traditions, so we had fun on Thanksgiving Day, and then we also did our best to keep another tradition of ours going, which is the glorious day of nothing. Mm-hmm. That's the Friday after Thanksgiving. Just uh, trying to, as the name says, do nothing. Yeah. So we, we one of our kids got upset because we asked him to unload the dishwasher. Um, it's like we still eat. Okay. No. But and we had to be clear that the glorious day nothing is for us, because they're like, 
Well, yeah, but I don't, you know, because this is a day we don't, we don't have to go anywhere or be anywhere. Outside of we still had to do some stuff for work and take people to work, but. Yeah, okay. Jacob had to work. But overall, overall we did a good job of protecting that, not having too many meetings and things. And that was just, uh, it started from several years ago. Yeah. It was early, it was like September or so, we're like, wow, we have to be somewhere every single day. Every single day And we of looked the on the calendar, like, what's the first day we don't have to be somewhere? And it was the day after Thanksgiving. We're like, wow. So we decided to protect it. Yeah. And so that's become a tradition. And yeah. that is so much fun. It's kind and of fun. So we went out and got our tree. Um, everyone in our area goes to the local tree farm, Dulce Tree Farm, which we love. But we've kind of, it's gotten so popular that it yeah, If becomes, you're not there <laughs> they, yeah. Friday after after Thanksgiving. You're, yeah. And I don't like lines. Gotta be honest, I don't like standing in line. And um, so we discovered a few years ago, Costco has live Christmas trees that they sell out of a semi. Because <laughs> that's ambiance. <laughs> but they didn't do it this year, so we had to go down the road to Lowe's. So we got a tall, skinny boy. It's a Fraser fur. It's nice. He's nice. He's perfect. He's fine. And it's fine. been specially decorated this year. For... No breakable ornaments. It's all plastic ornaments or fabric ornaments because of our little fur babies. Because they are, and they're loving, they're loving the tree. Oh, yeah. They give a thumbs up to Christmas. So, other than that, we kids have 14 days left in school. And... They're back to it this morning? Yep. They were they thrilled. Were... Hey, um, they got, they, I drove them to school today because right. I had He's things to do in town. super nice so. dad. So, yeah, yeah. Happy to sleep in a little bit. Nutcracker performance on the 19th if you're in the area and you would like to go see a shortened but still wildly talent-filled version of the Nutcracker, it will be at Zionsville West Middle School. Check out the Village Dance Studio Facebook page for more information there. There happens to be at least three dancers that I'm particularly partial to. There might be a couple more, um, but I love all of them. They are yeah. all a fantastic group of kids. So but that doesn't happen until next month. That's true. It is still November. It doesn't feel like it feels no, like psh, we're we're December, but I guess that we are still November. I was writing, oh next month. Oh that's tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> but all right. Yeah. That's about it. Please let us know how your holiday went. Anything fun and exciting happening in your life. We'd love to know. And we will be talking to you again very soon. So have a great week. Bye. Bye.